Now that Windows is completely installed, I want to talk about another thing. Windows relies on what's called drivers to work with your computer's internal hardware. In some cases, Windows will not have a driver already um, included to run a particular piece of hardware. On my particular system, the Q Computer Mid-Tower Deluxe, Windows 7 has just about all the drivers to run everything in it. But in a high performance configuration, you do want to still go online and look for the latest drivers for your hardware. And for OEM computers, like people who buy their system from HP and all that, we can go online and just Google search the model number of your um, particular computer. And a lot of times it will pull up the um, website with the drivers for Windows 7 or Windows Vista, Windows XP, all that. I'll go ahead and show you all the drive, um, the what's called the device manager. To see if there's any drivers that um, that aren't installed for certain particular pieces of hardware. Which it doesn't have a driver for um, the chipset. Oh, it's really surprising. Windows 7 actually had the driver for my TV tuner. Very surprising. See, there's still a few um, here and there things that need to be updated. A lot of times, Windows Update can probably take care of this. Just run it a few times. Or better yet, if you know the particular model of your computer and everything, just go online and Google search for drivers and everything. And usually, that'll solve the driver issues.